Hey everyone. Wanted to go live and talk a little bit about sponsoring. Sponsoring is something last month we did an amazing job. You guys did an amazing job. Um, but sometimes I get, I get messages and I get questions and then I see things and I, I want to make sure that you know exactly what sponsoring is. What is sponsoring? What isn't sponsoring? That's kind of what we want to do. So it's your team. You have a team, you can create that culture, but make sure that that culture is good because people will leave if the culture is bad. Even if the money is good, people will leave if the culture is bad. So do not rely on people making good money and not feeling welcome and not feeling connected and not feeling appreciated or undervalued. All those things we can give to people. And I expect us to. Faithfully Fragrant is all about that. Like, let's encourage each other. Let's lift each other up. But sponsoring, especially if you're new to sponsoring, you might not know what exactly sponsoring is versus what it isn't. If you're new to sponsoring and you just got a new teamy, congratulations. That is awesome. You're growing your business and you're helping them start their own business, which is the number one thing that you need to focus on. It's really not about you and a promotion. It's about them and how you can help them achieve their goals. Have that mindset. It's all about them, okay? So a few things about what sponsoring is. Sponsoring is about coaching, okay? We're not gonna sit here and be like, this is what you have to do, you have to do this. This is say, hey, this is what has worked for me. Let's see how we can, we can fit this to how it works for you. This is something that I've done. What do you have ideas on that might work in regards to that? Really having those open conversations and talking about things. That's what we need to be doing, okay? Coaching isn't being somebody's boss. It is not being somebody's boss. If you look at what your title is, it is Sensi Independent Consultant. You are an independent business owner and so are they. Yes, they are on your team, but they do not owe you anything. That's all there is to it. You, as a sponsor, need to give them the best of you that you can, okay? It is not about being somebody's boss and bossing them around and saying, you need to do this, this, and this. That is not what this is about, okay? They probably have a full-time job and they have a boss telling them what to do. We are encouraging them. We are giving them goals. We are helping them achieve those goals. That is what we are doing. Another thing about, excuse me, now I'm all mixed up. Another thing about sponsoring is that we show them the way that we do things, showing them. So if they have a question, they say, hey, what is the price of the warmer of the month? Don't just answer that question. And I'm not trying to be rude. I'm just telling you, you want to build independent, they're independent business owners, independent, self-sufficient teenies. Because one day they're going to be a leader too. Okay? One day they're probably going to be a leader. And you want to let them know what they need to be doing. So, and so say somebody asks, like, where can I find the warmer of the month? How much is the cost of it? I'd love to help you find that. Okay, that's what we need to do. Instead of sh like doing everything for them, sponsoring isn't doing everything for them. It's showing them how to do it. So show them how to do it or say, ask on the team page because we have so many new people. And that's true. We have so many new people that so many other people probably have the exact same question and they're afraid to ask. Ask. And then you'll see people comment and it builds a stronger team and it helps people understand what your culture is, that you're not just finding everything. You're not, you're not a resource for every single person all the time. You're helping them find what they need and showing them where to find it. So one day they can show their teeny where to find them. Okay. It's not a, okay. This one's a tough one for me. I feel like our culture is really, really good in our team, but sometimes I still see this and I think it's just natural being human beings, we, we can't all have the same kind of ideals and everything like that. Being a sponsor is supporting your team members, supporting them, okay? It is not setting crazy goals and then making them feel bad if they don't hit it. 
we're not about that kind of life. Um, and we don't talk down to our teammates. Uh, we don't talk down to anybody within Sensi. We are a Sensi family and we need to remember that. And we always need to treat each other with respect. So sponsoring is a mutual relationship. I don't care if you're an essential consultant or a superstar director. You are still a human being and those values need to be the exact same. We are all the same people. I do not care about your title. I'm gonna treat an SSD the same way I would as an essential consultant, okay? So remember that, create your culture also and have them understand your culture. Be there for them, help them, let them understand what you're about. You are not somebody's boss. And also as a sponsor, you need to be available, but not every single day. There is no such thing. I tell this to my team all the time. There is no such thing as a sensory emergency. If we were brain surgeons, that would be completely different. Let's get called into work. But literally, we are selling Sensi. We love it. We absolutely think it's wonderful. We love the product. We love the customers. But we also have families. I have a husband and a son. You guys probably have families. You have friends. You have all these different things going on in life. So know that um, I set business hours. And I think that it's good to have those boundaries and set up those boundaries while you can. Because one day your team is going to get so big. Imagine that one day your team getting so big that you can't be there for every single person. But you've created a culture in which their sponsor is available to them and their teamies are available to them. That's what we're reaching after. But when I say be available to your new teamie, I mean be realistic about it and let them know that if they message you after a certain time that you're not ignoring them and that you'll get back to them within 24 hours or to ask on the team page. So just wanted to go over that a little bit, what a sponsor is versus what a sponsor isn't. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll talk to you soon.